But first, because they may be gone, but their deeds outlive them. The headlines lingering from the previous administration's 50 running scandals still mush. Number three, executive privilege gate. Exactly what didn't happen at the House Judiciary Committee today, we're not precisely sure, but we know Karl Rove did not testify as originally scheduled. There were clearly two causes in what order and what measurements they went into the soup. We don't know. But Karl Rove was told by lawyers just before the end of the Bush administration to continue to ignore judiciary's subpoena, and the Judiciary Committee says it was not planning on hearing Rove's testimony today and never formally scheduled him to testify today. The administration is over, but the obfuscation lingers. Number two, Legacy Gate. They're still out there trying. They're still out there lying. Harry Fleischer first admitting we were wrong about weapons of mass destruction being in Iraq. Then asked by D.L. Hughley how that felt, Fleischer, Fleischer said, you just scratch your head and say, how could we be wrong? It wasn't just that we thought we had he had weapons of mass destruction. The Egyptians thought it. The French thought it. The Germans thought it. The United Nations thought it. Bill Clinton's CIA thought it. We all thought it. Saddam was the big liar here. Clearly. He said he didn't have any WMD anymore. You knew better. You told the French, the Germans, the Egyptians, and the UN that he did. Then when they all said, sure, if you say so, you presented that to the world as new evidence that he had WMD. Then it turned out Saddam was right. He didn't have any WMD anymore. And he was the big liar here. And number one, forever partisan gate. Speaking to the Young Republican National Federation meeting in Orlando, George Bush ripped Florida Governor Charlie Crist for accepting, endorsing, and even expressing gratitude for the stimulus program. There's some in our party that want to assume that government is the answer to all our problems, Mr. Bush said. I'm not going to name any names. You know who I'm talking about. Questioned by reporters, he then said of Governor Crist, that will be on his track record, and people are going to remember that. Mr. Bush even said he thought Governor Crist ran the risk of falling into a category he called D-light, as in Democrat light. Now, you would have thought such fiery partisanship from a freshly minted ex-president would have been bigger news. But, of course, the man who put party ahead of recovery was not President George W. Bush, but his nephew, Jeb's son, George P. Bush. Yes, it's Bushed. The next generation.